Good day everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we'll be doing scrunchies that's um, locally called a hairband or hair packer. So um, keep watching and um, see how we're going to achieve the scrunchies. So the materials we'll be needing are basically very little. So this is the basic thing we'll be needing and of course your sewing machine or thread and needle then uh, the elastic of course it's um, a necessity for hairbands and um, the scissors your ruler of course your chart and also your tape roll so let's begin measurement for our scrunches Okay, and get that done, thank you. I'll spread my fabric like this <clears throat> and fold it into two. Just like this. And um, I will be using three inches white folded so when you open it's um, four inches let's start and um, for the size of my scrunchies I'll be using 18 okay I'll be using 20 inches because I would want it really really gathered that's the pleat so I'll be using 20 inches. You mark. So you have to cut it out now. And basically you're done. With the cutting. It's that easy. Next, we are doing now. We're taking to this to the sewing machine. We're gonna sew it down here. Or if you don't have the sewing machine, of course, you can use your needle and thread and sew. But I want to be using the sewing machine for the sake of this video. But if you're at home and you don't have a sewing machine, please kindly use the needle and thread. You can still achieve whatever you want to achieve. Thank you. So, let's go into the sewing machine. So, we are in our sewing machine now. So, we're gonna be sewing this with the um, half an inch as you can see in this video so this is how you sew that's it, it. Can see? Okay. So the next thing you do now is to turn this over, like flip it over. iron if you want but I'm not ironing this one because I wouldn't want it too flat so that I can achieve it better look of it so this is it when you must have you know? turn it so what you do next now is to stitch or sew here with another half an inch or a quarter inch I will be using a quarter inch so my elastic can pass through so this is it watch 
so this is it quarter of an inch so let's sew you can decide to sew with um half an inch it's totally your choice for me i'm using quarter of an inch so sew it now And watch, I'm stopping exactly here because it's with this one I'm going to turn over. You just watch and see. So I'm stopping here. Thank you. Now let's go over to the table and complete our task. So, <clears throat> so we are done stitching here of our um, fabric as you can see but the next thing you do now is to um, insert your elastic so this is how I do mine you measure how big you want your um, what's it called the scrunch it to look like so that's how you cut your elastic like for me I want to be able to fold it just once like just put it on my head just once so I'll be using this size now this is what I do I cut out and this is it as you can see next thing I do Get my pins. Um, I put one here. And I put another one here. The reason why I do it like this is I don't want the elastic to lost inside and I'll start starting all over again. So just have to do it like this. Now it's time to put in the elastic. Careful. As you can see, see what I was talking about. Bring it up now and um, kindly All right, safe. Continue where you stopped. This is it. This is it. You hold this, you bring us um, this other one. This and um, this. So you tie. You can decide to tie, and you can decide to, you know. <laughs> So if you want more, I prefer to tie so I just tuck it in once and for all. No stress. Be careful so you don't lose your elastic in the process because this fabric is a little bit messy. Tie it. Tie it so strong so that um, it doesn't lose in inside because you don't tuck it in. So you tuck it in, you tie, so trim the excess, trim the excess, but you can say to leave it like that if you want. And um, next thing you do is to tuck in. This is it. 
Next thing you do now is to tuck, tuck it in. Remember we leave left um, an excess to help you tuck in. So what you do is you fold like this, fold it in like this, fold it in like this, and you tuck in this excess. Now you can decide to take it to the sewing machine and so you can decide to use your needle and thread which i will be doing so get your needle and thread and sew make sure you get a matching thread so you don't have rough edges And this is it. Tie. Tie at the rough side. And you can decide to gum as well, so no one says it's a thread. Still your choice. And here, just scrunchies it. Ready for use. Or you can. Yes, yes, yeah. You can decide to want to do it smaller. It's still your choice. And that's it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumb up or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, also follow our videos. We have a lot of videos on crafts like this down there. So just click on the link below and keep watching. Thank you. I love you all and God bless you. Bye. Mwah.